Welcome back to Is It Playable? In this video, we'll be taking a look at whether Grand Theft Auto Liberty City Stories is playable with BCSX2 within RetroArch. Now, I'll be honest, this is a game that makes no sense to me. Not in the fact that the game exists or anything. What I mean is, it's a PSP game, originally, ported to the PS2, later down the line, and spoilers, it won't take long before you actually realise how this game plays. It plays... bad. Like, really bad. It's... constantly, well not constantly, but it's in slow-mo 90% of the time, and I don't understand how. Because it's literally, I'm pretty sure it's just a PSP game, ported to the PS2. Like, yeah, this cutscene is fine. More than fine, you might say. But then you skip it to the next cutscene, and it's the polar opposite. As far as I'm aware, pretty sure it's the next cutscene. There it is. I mean, it could be worse. There we go. And now I think it starts the actual game. But it, the thing that I find weird. Is it? It's all over the place, performance-wise. It basically is always in slow motion. So if you want to play the game, you're better off just emulating the PSP version, because that will actually work perfectly fine. Why is vibration constantly on? Oh, it's because of the ground. I should've... hang on, hang on, I got a better idea. See, it buffs out now and again, but it happens so much that I would not consider it playable. Wee. I was waiting for Vincenzo to say something. Jesus, Tony, you drive like a bitch! Do I just need to crash more? There we go. Just wanted to trigger that. There we go. We now have to go inside, change our clothes. But yeah, I just don't get it. Because it's perfectly fine on the PSP. Even emulating it through RetroArch. Uh, RetroArch on the PSP is fine. But if you want to play the PS2 version, no, 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 no. But there's nothing different between them as far as I'm aware. Unless just the PS2 version just looks slightly better, because it's obviously not a PSP. Oh god, it turned around in my house. It's just one of those things that's real weird. You can store a vehicle here. Now take me to my place. Yeah, I'll finish this mission and that'll do for the test. I know what I'm saying. I, Devin, I don't think the game is very playable. Considering it's con constantly in... Well, it buffs out now and again, but for the most part it's in a state of slow-mo. Which isn't ideal. But it, it drops down to, I think, 40? But on the plus side, this is kind of like, um... Silent Hill Origins, in a way. In the fact that it exists on PSP, and it's perfectly fine on PSP. But the width, or the difference between... Uh, Silent Hill Origins on PS2 and PSP is... It's visually very different. Whereas that doesn't seem to be the case that much with this. Yeah, yeah. When I say jump, you say how high. Unless, did they, maybe they made it that you can uh, swim in this version. Because I know you can't in the PSP version. Can you swim? Or is... No, you can't, you drown. Huh. Oh, I thought that was playing like Danger. A Danger song, because you were dying. Okay. I mean, the, the water looks better on PS2. Yeah. Because on the PSP, it's it's literally... it looks like oil. <laughs> yeah, the water is just black and grey. It's weird. Well, there we go. It does buff out, but because of how constant the FPS, uh, FPS issues seem to be... So you can't turn the camera without it dipping. I would have to say that the game is not playable. So yeah, unfortunately, 
Grand Theft Auto Liberty City Stories is not currently playable. So that's going to be the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you have enjoyed. If you did, be sure to like, subscribe, leave suggestions for games you want to see, and until next time, take care.